Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today, the Jacksonville Dolphins look to take control of the SEC East Division against the 4-5 and five Alabama A&M Bulldogs. They have a pretty solid roster, nice defense for the most part. Nice receiver, Antonio Skinner, 1,100 yards and 13 scores on the season. But if Jacksonville wins this game, which I am predicting they will, they will be taking on Tennessee State in a rematch in the SEC Championship game. I'm really looking forward to that. This team is completely different than what they were the last time they played the Tigers, and which wasn't even really a contest, honestly. But I really want that matchup to happen just to show that the Dolphins have improved in many facets of the game. But they do need help on defense. They have just allowed so many points this season. That Jacksonville, Jacksonville State game was just outrageous. And I really hope that doesn't happen here today. You see Alabama A&M, they almost beat Tennessee State, who is now ranked 23rd in the nation, by the way. They only lost that game by a field goal. So they are no pushover. This should be a fun game. We're in Huntsville, Alabama. In the Bulldogs Stadium, I expect the crowd to be raucous. But the Dolphins are on offense first. Mr. Highlight gets an end around to start things off. A little trickeration, and he picks up the first down. Highlight with over 275 rushing yards now on the season. Ryan Golden, the non-subscriber quarterback in here, taking a deep shot downfield. Mr. Highlight has it, and that is a touchdown just like that. The fireworks are going off. Mr. Highlight, over 900 receiving yards now on the season. 920 to be exact with seven touchdowns he's just a phenomenal player Ryan Golden gonna throw it again as the Bulldogs went three and out throws a pick and that is Golden's 14th on the season that wasn't really his fault it was kind of behind the receiver a little bit but it was deflected away for the interception and the Bulldogs with great field position from the 25 yard line here is Clark nice spin move on Marcus Pedersen gets close to the first down line now second down and 10, play action. Dixon to the end zone, wide open as Antonio Skinner. He beats Allen Davidson for the score. Davidson with 25 tackles, once for loss, five picks coming into the game. He also has 105 yards on interception returns with a pick six, eight deflections, two fumbles recovered, 74 yards on fumble recoveries, and a touchdown. Davidson does it all. Here's Jukes McGee, he gets the first down. Nice juke to the 48 yard line. Third and 17 though, Golden. Deep shot right side, deflected away, intended for a highlight, and the Dolphins will give the ball right back. Huge hit for Marcus Pedersen, back inside the 10 yard line. I think they were trying to set up a halfback pass, and Pedersen came through on the blitz. Vicious hit. Third and 17, Dixon to throw it, he's hit, and throws it deep, and it's picked off by Allen Davidson. He's gonna return it right side, he might find the end zone, and he does. Unbelievable, Allen Davidson with the second pick six of the season. Phenomenal play by the corner. And just like that, the Dolphins take the lead back, 14 to seven. Bulldogs back on offense, quick pass right side. Pedersen takes Sanders down short of the marker, and that'll bring up fourth down. Now third and 12, Michael Hines in at quarterback for a play. And he's gonna throw it up. Highlight is wide open at the 45 yard line and he is gonna go the distance. That was way too easy. And that will be Michael Hines' seventh touchdown pass of the year to go along with 13 picks. He also leads the team in rushing with almost 700 yards and five touchdowns. Dixon on fire, throws right side, connects with Bass. First down and more inside the 20 to the 15 yard line. Dixon gonna throw again. Drops back, stays in the pocket, finds Skinner wide open again. His second touchdown reception today. And it looks like the same exact route he scored on earlier, beating Allen Davidson. See how the Dolphins offense responds. First down and 10, Golden gonna throw it. And he's rolling out left side. This three defenders giving chase. He's not gonna get rid of it or get down in time. He has injured his chest on the play. And that might not be good. I hope he'll come back in this game. Michael Hines will be in in the meantime. Rolling out left side. He's going to take off. Files a couple blockers. He's in the open field. Unbelievable. Michael Hines is going to score. What? Oh, my goodness. One of the craziest plays I think I've ever seen. No way did any of you think he was going to score when that play started. No way. Bowie with a nice catch in the open field up to the 36-yard line. 
I'm still stuck on that Michael Hines touchdown run. That was his sixth of the year, by the way. Dixon taking down Zane Williams, his second tackle for a loss today. He now has 12 on the season. Dixon on fire. Takes a shot. He's picked off again. This time it's Bennett, non-subscriber linebacker. And the Dolphins will take over on offense. Up 28-14 here in the second. Back, the third string quarterback is in, Leonard. And he's just going to dump it off to Hines. Who's going to break a tackle. And he's got the sideline. Michael Hines escapes again, and he is going to have his first career touchdown reception. Are you kidding me right now? What in the world just happened? Again, another play where he gets the ball. There's so many defenders in front of him. And it doesn't look like he's going to score, but he ends up doing it. Craziness. Michael Hines in there at quarterback again. Throws out to Jermaine Marshall. First down pickup. Marshall's 15th catch on the year. He now has 350 yards and two scores. Hines on the option. Left side. He's got the first down and more. Out of bounds at the 46-yard line. He's got 74 yards rushing today. Closing in on 800 yards on the ground. Hines going to throw it. Deep shot. Christian Hart open inside the 20-yard line. That's Hart's 21st catch of the year. Hines play action. Rolling out right side. And he takes off. First down and more. Jukes back to the inside. Taken down just inches shy of the end zone. This guy is electric. And Tyler Matthews will punch it in. His seventh touchdown run of the season. A big old fullback. And that's going to end the first half, guys. That was with four seconds left. So it is 42-14. It looks like Jacksonville is going to secure their trip to the SEC title game to take on the Tennessee State Tigers. They have over 400 yards of offense so far as Clark has dropped for a loss, but there is a face mask on the play. That'll be accepted. Second down and two. Play action for Dixon. Over the middle, wide open is Sanders for the first down at the 35-yard line. Dixon going to throw it again. Right side picked off by Marcus Pedersen at the 35-yard line. Pedersen is going to take this all the way back for a pick six. My goodness. His second pick six of the season. His sixth interception total on the year. Bulldogs back in offense. Pedersen with the sack. His second of the year. Marvin Joseph loving the play of his safety right now. Third down and ten. High snap for Dixon. He throws it out. And that's completed to Sanders right over the head of Marcus Pedersen for the first down. Now fourth and six. Dixon hit as he throws it. I believe that was Zane Williams coming through on the pressure. And the Dolphins will get the ball back on offense again. Hines over the middle. Mr. Highlight wide open. Past the 50 into Bulldog territory. Highlight with 169 today. And he is our first receiver, our first subscriber receiver to have 1,000 receiving yards in a year. Tyler Matthews up the middle. Picks up 12 yards on a first down. Nice carry for the big guy. Third down and three, toss play. Jukes McGee cuts it back to the inside, taken down short of the first down. Dolphins will send on the field goal unit to try to get a 50-burger today. And the kick is up from Goodwin, and it bounces in, and it is good. 52-14, what a kick. Second down and 10, Pedersen with another massive hit on a halfback for a big-time loss of seven. Third down and 17, Dixon. Deep shot, right sideline, deflected, and almost picked off by Pedersen. Dolphins do get the ball back on offense, though. Golden back in the game. He takes a deep shot. Left side caught by Deshaun Harris. First time we've seen him on offense today, up to the 22-yard line. His 17th catch today, or on the season. McGee, carry, left side. Inside the 10-yard line, breaks the tackle, and reaches, and he is a couple inches short of the end zone. And Tyler Matthews will have another touchdown on his eighth of the year. Just way too easy, and the Dolphins are pouring it on. 59 to 14. The crowd very upset. They're leaving the stands right now. Backup quarterback is in for the Bulldogs. Richardson. He's gonna throw it up. It's deflected, intercepted by Marcus Pedersen, and he's gonna have his second pick six of the game, third of the season. Crazy today. There's so many highlight plays. And the last four uh, fans in the stands are leaving. What a great game today from the Dolphins offense and the defense. I'm sure head coach Marvin Joseph is extremely happy 
with the outcome of today's game. 66-14 is the score. Richardson going to throw again. This time it's picked off by Malik Bean. That pass was way overthrown. That is Bean's fourth interception on the season. There's holding. That's declined. Dolphins just trying to run the clock out here is Jukes McGee. Jukes or spins to the outside and Jukes McGee is gone. That is going to make it three straight games for the Dolphins scoring 70 points or more. Goodness gracious. Oh me, oh my. Pedersen, player of the game for the Dolphins. Two pick sixes. They had a sack as well. 73-14 is the final. Dolphins improved to 6-4 and four on the season. And I believe they have... Yeah, they have two more games left. I believe they take on Alabama State next week. Crowd is very silent right now. Ryan Golden played great today as well for the Dolphins. And so did Michael Hines. Maybe that'll change head coach Marvin Joseph's plan and have Michael Hines in there from now on. I'll have to ask him about that in the Discord channel. If you're not in there, go ahead and join us, folks. We've got two head coaches in there currently and a lot of players. We have 55-plus members in the Discord community. And every day, we're all in there talking. We have a professional league coming out, and the players from this dynasty will be drafted into that pro league so if you want a player in college football and in a professional football league, go ahead and join our Discord, create a player in the offseason, have a college career, have a pro career, win a Heisman, win a Super Bowl, whatever. Do whatever you want, all right? I just hope to see you guys in there. We revealed four teams so far for the pro league, one team from Kentucky, one team from Michigan, one from Ohio, and one from somewhere else that I can't remember right now. North Carolina, there we go. My goodness. And I will be revealing four more teams leading up to the full league reveal, which I'm aiming for April to have the full reveal for that. If not April, it'll be May. But enough about that. Let's take a look at these stats. Michael Hines, of course, had a ridiculous day catching the football, running it, throwing it. He did it all. The third string quarterback is one of one in his career for a touchdown to another quarterback. <laughs> That's a crazy stat. Zane Williams, two tackles for loss. Pedersen with three tackles for loss today. That now gives him seven from the strong safety position. Five interceptions today. Davidson, Bean, Pedersen all had some. And Bennett, the linebacker. No force fumbles. Three defensive touchdowns, though. Absolutely phenomenal performance today from the Dolphins. On offense, defense, and special teams. No big touchdown returns. Nothing crazy. Just an all-around solid day. Skinner and Davis, quick players of the game for the Bulldogs. Pedersen, Hines, and Highlight players of the game for the Dolphins. 5-1 in the SEC play. Their next game, they will be traveling to take on the Prairie View A&M Panthers. And after that, they'll take on Alabama State. Our next game, which will be out next week, that'll be... Southern Utah traveling to take on Cal Poly. I'll see you guys then. Take it easy.